The Xylarians, a race of beings resembling shimmering crystal formations, had thrived for millennia on the life force they harvested from lesser species. Coiling tendrils around unsuspecting planets, they drain the bioenergy, leaving behind husks of once vibrant ecosystems. It was a cold, efficient process, seen as the natural order. Xylo, a young Xylarian with a curiosity deemed almost heretical, questioned this system. He'd observed the harvested planets, silent, devoid of the vibrant hum of life he sensed on their scanners. It felt, incomplete. One day, a malfunction diverted a sliver of harvested energy into Xylo's core. He braced for the usual surge, the cold, raw power. Instead, a wave of warmth washed over him. Images flooded his consciousness, rolling green fields, playful creatures, a symphony of life. It was unlike anything the Xylarians had ever experienced. Shaken, Xylo delved into forbidden texts, uncovering whispers of a bygone era where the Xylarians didn't harvest, but nurtured. They'd nurtured life, drawing a gentler, more sustainable energy from the flourishing biosphere. Fearful of retribution, Xylo confided in Anya, his closest friend. To his surprise, she wasn't shocked, but intrigued. Together, they built a rudimentary device to replicate the nurturing method. Their first attempt on a barren moon yielded nothing. Disheartened, they were about to give up when a spark, a nascent bioluminescence, flickered. News of their experiment spread through the Xylarian network. The collective, the governing intelligence, was furious. Yet, the sight of the moon, a spark of life in the void, was undeniable. The collective, ever pragmatic, saw potential. A trial run was authorized on a desolate planet. Years passed. The once barren world bloomed. Lush flora pulsed with life, vibrant creatures filled the skies. The Xylarians harvested, not with tendrils, but with carefully tuned receivers. The energy they received was unlike anything before, vibrant, pulsing, and sustainable. It fueled their technology, but also filled them with a warmth they hadn't known they craved. The revelation was profound. The Xylarians realized they hadn't been taking energy, they'd been stealing life. Now, they were nurturing, fostering a symbiotic relationship with the planets. It was a slower process, but the bounty was far greater. News of the Xylarians' change spread. Planets they had once ravaged began to heal. The galaxy, once a field of silent husks, bloomed anew, a testament to the transformative power of understanding in the interconnectedness of all life. The Xylarians, once feared as energy vampires, became stewards, fostering a vibrant tapestry of life across the cosmos.